How's it going guys, Vlad here and welcome to the second tutorial on the Raspberry Pi in which we're going to uh, talk about programming in Python on the Raspbian OS. So what you're going to need for this tutorial is your Raspberry Pi bootloaded with the uh, Ras Raspbian OS that I did in the previous tutorial. You're going to need an LED with a uh, current limiting resistor. I've explained how to calculate that in a different video so if you want reference to those a breadboard, a few wires to connect your GPIO, and of course all the peripherals that I've mentioned in the first tutorial such as um, screen, uh, HDMI cable, keyboard, mouse, uh, etc. So let's jump straight into the tutorial. So the first thing I want to point out is that we are going to be using the GPIO header that's located on the Raspberry Pi right next to the uh, video output port. So um, the way the pins are labeled on the Raspberry Pi is that you start with the um, I don't know if you can see it, there's a P1 label at the bottom here so that's going to be your pin 1 pin 2 is going to be opposite to that and then you're going to start with the pin 3 uh, right next to P1 so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 etc all the way up to um, 24 pins so I'm, I'm gonna post a um, a pinout uh, picture on the screen right now so if you want to pause the video and reference which pin does what but essentially we are going to be using pin 7 which is output 4 on the Raspberry Pi so that pin would be right here in order to drive our LED so um, yeah without any further delay let's take a look at the programming for the Raspbian Pi so this is where where we left off on the previous tutorial and I just quickly wanted to walk you through to the desktop interface itself so after your uh, Raspbian reboots after you've pre-configured all your settings you should get into your um, command prompt so the login as I mentioned before is pi the password is raspberry all lowercase letters so now from this prompt you can enter the desktop by typing in the command start x start X press enter and that should bring you to the um, to the Raspbian desktop give it just a moment it should load there we go so that's the Raspbian desktop as it is uh, from a clean install so from the Raspbian desktop you want to launch the LX terminal window and from here you want to navigate to the idle so type in sudo idle press enter and you should see an, a python shell window in just a moment there we go so that's your command, command prompt for the python interface you want to go into file new window in order to actually create a new program so let me just quickly zoom in on that So in this window we're going to type in our program, so first thing you want to do is import the uh, Raspberry Pi GPIO interface. So this allows you to actually interface the header that I've explained earlier. You want to also define all your pin numbers as I've mentioned 1 through 24, so in order to do that you want to type in program1 that set mode parentheses g pro one dot board on the third line you want to define your pin 7 as your output which you will be using in order to drive the LED so you want to write program one that setup parentheses 7 comma program one that out so this should define pin 7 as an output and last but not least you want to turn on the LED so you want to set up program one that output 7 comma true so this pulls it high and in order to compile the program you want to click the F5 button on your keyboard so this will ask you to save the program LED 3 as you can see I've done a couple of tests click on OK and now the Python shell is your compiler so this should uh, if you've run the program a couple of times it will give you a warning because I've already used uh, I've already defined the pin 7 as an output and I've already run the program but this is just a warning it's not an error 
So on my PCB right, I'm, I mean on my breadboard right now, I can see the LED light up. So the program is working just fine. And last but not least for this particular segment, if you type in false in this line and click on F5 again, resave the program, you should have your LED turned off at this stage of the game. So let's take a look at a more complex program for this tutorial and make the LED blink automatically. So yeah, let's jump right into that. So in order to get the LED to blink on its own, we need to make a few modifications to the program. The first being adding the time library. So we want to import time. We also want to, uh, we're going to leave both of these definitions in and we want to create a for loop in Python. So for I in range from zero to 10,000 for example don't forget the colon uh, we weren't we're going to encapsulate a for loop so it is very important to remember to tab your uh, lines that are within the for loop so make sure to click the tab like so and that will make sure that the program recognizes that that's contained within your for loop it's similar to the uh, curly parentheses that you use in C or any other language or most of the other languages so we will set the pin to high followed by time that sleep for one second then we are going to set the pin to low in seven false time that sleep one and as you can see Python, uh, the interface is really great because it tells you uh, your number that you're putting in for example is in seconds versus milliseconds um, so you know exactly what you're typing in and it also double checks your syntax that way because if you make a mistake it's not going to give you any hints and last but not least we can clear the uh, GPIO once it's done in order to prevent that error from happening so program one that cleanup and notice that this is on the non-tabbed line, so that's not within the for loop. I'm not clearing the uh, GPIO every time I execute, but only at the end of this whole program. So press F5 to compile the program once again. OK. And you should see the general warning that I've been getting a couple of times earlier, which is just telling us that we need to... Um, that we need to make sure that the uh, pen is not already in use. That being said, the LED is currently blinking on my uh, breadboard, so I'm going to show you that in just a second. So. so here's the Raspberry Pi in all its glory, alongside with all the peripherals that I've used in this tutorial. So as you can see, the Pi is currently running the blinking LED program, and the LED is blinking at an interval of one second. As I mentioned earlier, the ground pin is connected to pin 6 on the header and the output pin is connected to pin 7 as we've defined in the program, which allows the LED to blink. So hopefully you were able to get this far and get your own LED blinking as the first uh, actual hardware project for the Raspberry Pi. So let me know if you have any questions, if you have any comments or difficulties getting this to work. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video and the second tutorial. Uh, let me know what else you would like to see. And yeah, subscribe if you like the content. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.